Hey, how's it going guys? I'm making another short video to help you guys out if you are having the same issue as me with malware bytes. Uh, now, for me, for some reason, the malware byte doesn't uh, update the database. As you can see here, it just keeps going through this loop. It tries to update the server, then it fails. And then if I try to do a scan, see this is what it does. It will go there to scan memory and then it jumps back on back to the start because the database for the the virus scans or the malware scan hasn't been updated and even if you keep trying and if you click here you'll try see it doesn't um the reason that it's doing is it's because the firewall has uh, blocked it for some reason i tried to exclude it from the firewall list but it just doesn't work and uh, so what i've been doing recently you know i've and I'll show you how I fix it. It's only a temporary fix, but it gets the job done for uh, for a week or two, and then you just gotta do the step all over again. If you guys know any better step that like a permanent fix for it, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to look into that. So you just type in firewall, and you go to Windows Firewall. Right, so we're gonna open it up, and you go to turn firewall on or off and you're not permanently disabling your firewall you're only doing it for a couple of minutes so that's done we go into malware bytes again and now we got see it's automatically started to check for updates again and uh, you're gonna get this um, pop-up messages just wait for uh, malware bytes to update the database which i think it's done hang on stop working Okay, let's just open it up again. Okay, let's click on update. See, now it's not jumping back and forth anymore. It's actually looking for the updates. But bear in mind, your firewall is still disabled. What does it say there? And now it started to download the new um, the database. And you should really do it because if you don't update your software, then you you are not protected from malware because malware evolves. They, there is people are creating new, newer and newer uh, malware to breach the security. So that's why you got to update this database to stay on top of it. Now, since that's updated already, let's click here to see if there are any more updates. And let's see what it says. See, it says no updates available. So you just go back into your firewall, quickly click, click. Okay, so that's done. You can close that. And if we try to scan now, let's see what happens. It's going to scan memory. See, it's not jumping back again. So it's actually scanning. It's going to scan the memory now. This process can take a really long time, so I'm not going to sit you through the whole. Uh, uh, you know process of get, you know the scan so yeah I just want to make this video to help somebody who is having the same issue as me like I said if you have any better ideas to actually permanently fix this then let me know but as for now it, it, it works fine for me every the database gets outdated every couple of weeks I think and then I just quickly do this and uh, everything is back on track again as you can see it's scanning already so yeah so see ya